we have a tech corner. It's been a while. Uh, I recently was at the CMSC show in Hollywood, Florida, and tracked down John Brown. It wasn't too hard to track him down. He was at the booth. Uh, he is the president of Geodetic Systems Incorporated. This is a company that does uh, photo, uh, manufactures photogrammetry equipment and does photogrammetric measurements of a large volume, uh, like antennas and ships and airplanes and that sort of stuff. And so I wanted to get kind of uh, the rundown on their latest photogrammetry camera. And this is the interview that we did at their booth. Okay, John, so a uh, new product, right? Yes, Dirk. Uh, for the first time, we're showing our Inca 4 industrial camera. Inca stands for industrial camera. This is a camera that's specially made for industrial photogrammetry. So it has a lot of special features uh, ex specifically for that. First, of course, is the lens cap. So it's automatic capping. We have built-in lens uh, flash systems for flashing to illuminate the targets. And this looks a little bit more compact than your earlier uh, models too, is that right? Yeah, it's a little smaller, it's a little more compact, it's a little easier to handle. And what we have is it's a very simple operation. Unlike these cameras, which we also sell, which are based on commercial cameras, they have lots of controls, people can get settings wrong. So this is a very simple camera. You have uh, aiming lasers and then you can fire. Either one, either hand can be used to control it. And what we're doing right now is we have it set up wirelessly to go around and shoot things. Of course, the lens cap's open, so. <laughs> that helps. So oh, now, that updates really fast. Yeah, too. that's very quick, and the range is really excellent. And uh, that's basically what it's used for, is for that mode for taking pictures. We have three kinds of interfaces. We have a USB disk drive, so you can work offline. It's, what we're also seeing here is wireless. When you go out of range wirelessly, it'll save automatically the USB drive and pick back up when you come back in range, so that's no problem. And then finally, it's uh, meant to do all sorts of work, so it can also go online like our Dynamo cameras, so there's an online interface here. It's got a built-in battery pack. You just slap, swap it out, swipe, swap it for another one, and uh, you have a built-in viewfinder here for aiming if you don't want to use the lasers. And it sounds like, uh, from what you were telling me earlier, is some of the feedback you've gotten, particularly on your, I believe these are kind of your entry level, yes, right? Yes, Is there's just too many, too many buttons and stuff to push that, that could go wrong, right? Too I mean, many buttons, too many camera, things basically. to say. We've yeah. tried to restrict it, but we do get that sometimes. So this is meant to be just for industrial photogrammetry. It's very rugged. It's very well ruggedly built and it's um, right, meant should, for industrial I, photography. I, I should mention, you also mentioned that the uh, a commercial camera isn't intended to have the, the thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of, of uh, uh, shutter cycles exactly. uh, that, that a regular exactly photographer right. wouldn't do, but, but on an industrial level, you guys go through. Yeah, one of, that's a very good point. One of the, the issues our customers face is that some of them have very high volume applications, and these shutters, they're mechanical shutters, they're limited to 200,000 cycles, life right. cycle typically. What's really nice about the Inca cameras is it has a electronic shutter. There's no moving parts, okay. and so the lifetime is virtually unlimited, and the uh, speed is extremely fast as well, which has advantages. So, so the camera itself fires very quickly. You see every time we're firing here, and that's the wireless keeping up with it. And so it's very quick, very reliable. Well, that's, uh, how much faster is this than, than your previous ones? It looks like quite a bit faster. About twice as fast. Okay. Yeah. And I've noticed, um, I picked this up earlier, uh, it also seems to be, um, uh, the balance seems yes. to be a lot better on it. The center of gravity seems to be a little bit more what, where it would make sense. Exactly. I think, that's it. what yeah. we did. Unlike yeah. our previous cameras, the balance, a front was, heavy, yeah. balance was at the back and they were front yeah. heavy. This is balanced both yeah. ways. And that's what we've done here, but these tend to be a little front heavy as well. Yeah. So. Ah, very good. Uh, yeah. So this is the uh, the Inca Four. Inca Four. Okay. Yes. Thanks, John. Thank you, Dirk. Appreciate it. Yep. Thanks a lot. If you are interested in photogrammetry, the folks at GSI are the experts. So you can follow the link below the player page down there to get more information on the Inca Four or photogrammetry in general. Well, that is our show.